Have you ever had someone in your life who claims to support you, but takes every opportunity to bring up that they disagree with something fundamental to you? Someone who only seems to support your ideals or your goals when it suits them? Parents who give you flack for your college major, friends who always complain about how hard it is to use your new pronouns. That kind of thing? Well, imagine that, but on the scale of whole corporations. I know, I know, the socialist is complaining about companies doing something they don't like. But if you hear me out, then maybe you might learn something. Rainbow capitalism is when businesses incorporate the LGBTQ rights movement and its cultural imagery, language, and history into their marketing and products in order to capitalize off the purchasing power that queer people have. It was also designed to take advantage of the new wave of support for LGBTQ plus people for a profit by providing a performative way to support LGBTQ plus folks while they made off with a profit. One of the biggest problems starts to occur when these companies stop supporting LGBTQ people after July 1st, because we don't stop existing when Pride Month ends, and neither does our struggle. For example, Two years ago, Tumblr, YouTube, and Twitter started heavily censoring LGBT content. Coming out posts and educational videos on Tumblr would be marked as not safe for work. Videos with the words gay, lesbian, or queer in the title, description, or tags on YouTube got demonetized or worse, shadow banned. And while Tumblr did eventually fix their primary censorship issues with queer people, YouTube and Twitter to this day still have theirs and They've only gotten worse over time. Nowadays, not only will queer and LGBT content get demonetized, but they'll play homophobic ads before your videos without your knowledge. So when companies like YouTube and Twitter rainbowify their logos as a silly performative way to pretend they care about the gays, we know they don't actually mean it. Not when they do stuff like this. And it doesn't stop with social media. During Pride Month, companies that are completely irrelevant to queer issues like Absolute Vodka, Chipotle, AT&T, and McDonald's find ways to slap a rainbow on everything they sell, jack up the price, and try to suck a little extra money out of us. It's disgusting and exploitative. And yet, we fall for it, buying our pride shirts from Target instead of from LGBTQ artists who work hard to make beautiful pieces that celebrate our history. But when Pride Month ends, what happens to that LGBT merchandise? They make their profile pictures the normal colors again, take down the LGBTQ welcome posters, discontinue the rainbow products, and go back to ignoring our demographic. Corporations aren't your friends, y'all. They don't actually care about us. They want to make a profit. The LGBT community faces real issues year-round. Corrective rape, physical abuse, coercive and violent conversion therapy, homelessness, unemployment, employment discrimination, abuse at the hands of our families, housing discrimination, being banned from blood donation and blood drives, and even hate crimes, assaults, and murders. Last year alone, 368 trans women were brutally murdered just for trying to live their lives. Companies that haven't done anything to help push forward the fight for our liberation and rights don't deserve to be in our parades and our artist alleys. They shouldn't be selling their wares at our protests and marches. Stonewall was a riot where LGBTQ men, women, and non-binary folks fought off government-sanctioned police violence. A brick-throwing, cop-punching, car-flipping riot in the name of civil liberties and justice. Do you think those people would be happy to see what we've let Pride become? Cause I don't. Hey everybody, it's Endcard Patrick Hart here. Sorry that I haven't been keeping up on my videos or artwork or commissions lately. Uh, I've had multiple deaths in my family. It's been rough. Uh, things are strained and everyone seems to be doing their best. But 
it'll take me a while before I can get things back to normal. If you want to learn more about rainbow capitalism and the history of Stonewall and Pride, there are a bunch of links in the description below for you to educate yourselves on our history, our present, and possibly our future. If you want to support my content, there are links to plenty of ways that you can do that below. Patreon, Libera Pay, uh, even Ko-fi if you just want to throw a donation in the hat after my little lecture. You can follow me on social media and keep track of the articles I'm writing for Medium and the different subjects I like to talk about on Twitter or Tumblr or even my official Facebook page. I want to give a special thanks to my patrons for funding this content. I wouldn't be able to make the things that I do without you guys. I'll see you all next month for some of my more serious videos and hopefully a whole bunch more shit posts. Bye!